taking a break. Uh, and I wanted to do this video on, uh, it's kind of law of attraction-ish, but really uh, law of attraction has been correlated with, I think, things that you want so much that uh, sometimes it's hard for me to explain it the way it really is. And so really it's about vibration and vibration matching vibration, whether you're talking about timelines or the love of your life or your job, whatever. It's about vibration matching vibration. So I just wanted to let y'all know that you're always asking for things vibrationally. You're saying uh, all, all the time, all, all the time. Uh, all that you are is uh, based on vibration. That vibration goes out to the universe. The universe comes back and basically matches timelines with the vibration that you are at any given time. So if you want to improve timelines, if you want to go to some place where something's better, you have to change you first. Now, in the process of doing this, this can get very, very complicated. Let me give you an example. Uh, anything about this example that is correlated with anyone else's actual life, that's purely happenstance. And I'm not talking about you in particular, if that has happened in any story I ever, uh, analogy I ever come up with. But let's say that you've asked for the love of your life to come into your, to your life. Okay. Well, if you're asking for the love of your life to come into your life, then you probably are not vibrating um, as high as you were, are probably looking for in a mate. Because if you... Once you get and you're centered and you're good with yourself, uh, you don't really even ask for the love of your life. Um, it's already set in place. So when it's the right time, when it's the right place, you know that you, the love of your life, that perfect mate will show up. If they don't show up, you know that it's not time for them. It's not the right space. So rarely do you have any conversation about that once you get to a certain vibratory state. But so we can assume that if you're asking for the love of your life, then there is, you feel like your life would be better, more whole if you had the love of your life. Therefore, let's assume that in this scenario, the person that's asking is asking because they feel like the love of their life will give them a more complete, better life. Okay. That's asking for something outside of yourself to make you uh, your life perfect and that never works for any length of time. It may uh, last temporarily, but it never lasts for any length of time. Not with money, jobs, love of your life, kids, anything. It never does. Uh, you have to become one and whole and complete within yourself first and then all those other things fall into place beautifully. But that's not where this person is right now. So they're calling on the love of their life. Well, let's say that in order to get the love of your life, you are, uh, you ask for the love of your life. Now time passes and you're in a car accident and you end up in the emergency room. You didn't ask for it to be in an emergency room. You weren't vibrating along those lines at all. But what happened is your love of your life, that's the closest, easiest for the, that you vibrate the same as or within the range of is, hold on a second is a doctor that's working in the emergency room at the hospital you get taken to. So in order for you to get to him in the right time, in the right place, in order to form the, the relationship that you've asked for, you become his patient in the ER and that's where you meet. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes, or frequently actually, an event that happens isn't a direct call or a direct reaction to something that you've directly asked for. Or vibrated at. Sometimes it's the process by which you're going to get something else that you are vibrating at or question that you've asked. Now the tricky question is how to differentiate between these different things. Well because they are so complex and they happen all day long that is why I continuously tell you guys this is way more complex than anyone has led you to believe. And that's why the easiest, fastest way of getting it done is to simply be a little bit happier and a little bit happier. Don't think of the past. Don't plan for the future. Live in the moment. Live in the moment. 
deal with the issues moment to moment. Really, if you deal with your moment to moment issues, feelings, emotions, and if you're really on top of them, that will keep you plenty busy. Usually, it's going to the past and going to the future that sidetracked you from the real issues. The real issues are the ones that are happening in the now. But what I'm trying to uh, let you all know is just a scenario, just one little tiny scenario about how what you can ask for one thing and you'll be drawn into another circumstances that begins to answer your first question, your first ask, and you won't understand why. And that happens all day long in very complex layered ways, very, very complex layer, layered ways. But back to the love of your life thing. For just a second. Seriously, guys, if you're asking for the love of your life, then um, I encourage you to make sure that you are 100% good with where you are. That you're not asking for that love of your life because you need something from that love of your life. Because what you will get is you will get a love of your life that needs you. And that's never good. If you get two needy people with each other, eventually that is going to fall apart. Eventually, he's not going to be there for you when you need them or vice versa, and things will fall apart. If you're looking for that perfect mate, and as anybody who's listening to my videos knows that anyone can be your soulmate. Anyone. We are all part of one. We could all be each other's soulmates. Absolutely. And if anyone's looking, been watching at my vids, you all know that from my perspective, looking at all the timelines and all the dimensions, there are no twin flames active at this time. Being a twin flame or creating a twin flame circumstance is a very, very complex thing to do, experience to have, and it takes up a lot of time and energy on this existence, during this existence. Right now, there's so much more going on that no one has opted to do that, uh, which I think they'd be nuts if they tried, but not that it couldn't happen, but I'm not seeing it right now, and the PRISM children are not doing that. That is not a part of what they're doing. They're going the other direction with their experience they wouldn't be going into that arena. So Prism Children 2012 on absolutely do not have twin flames. And I absolutely could be wrong. I'm not saying I'm not. But for all the scanning that I've done on the vibrations that I know and recognize as twin flames, there are none on the planet during the timelines that I exist. Now, that is not to say that on the timelines that I haven't looked now, very, very unlikely because I've looked at what I think is all of them. But I could be wrong. I'm, don't throw that in my face. If you believe that, you've, that you're a twin flame, then I say go for it and operate under that assumption. But from what I can see, there are no twin flames. A twin flame is a split of a single entity. The entity that you were before you came into this creation splits into two and then comes to this planet. Most of the entities or all the entities that I see are entities in whole. Before they came, when they came to this planet, they came as a full entity. Now, I'm not talking about the different aspects of you, but those are on different timelines and different dimensions, the different aspects of you. Okay? So, I would encourage anybody, if you're looking for a soulmate, really analyze why you're asking that question. Uh, because... If you spend time and you get yourself really centered, basically, you've heard this before, when you weren't, when they weren't looking for that perfect person, they showed up. And that's how it happens. It's when you are so comfortable with your life and with everything there that you don't need someone else, the perfect person who also doesn't need someone else will show up and you will find each other. As long as you are needing someone to the same vibrational need that you have, that is what you will match. Like attracts like. It can't be anything else but that. You have to be within range of that person. Okay? All right. Just a couple little things there. Love you guys so much. And I'm going to go back to work now. Huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.